Well, you're one of the clients that terrifies me because you know more about Google Ads than I do. You can now integrate Shopify and YouTube together and put links underneath your video. So I'm like, that sounds really, really cool, but how do I do that? And there's like very, very little information about how to practically set that up and do that. So I spent a whole bunch of time at the end of last week setting it all up. You know, the Shopify and YouTube integration, you figured out something that I don't know anybody else has figured it out yet. I don't think this, these YouTube link, these little Shopify links are gonna like make me a gajillion dollars, but I think that it's important to try to innovate, try to do new things. If it doesn't take you too much time, if it doesn't cost you too much money, like you never know what is gonna be the thing that's gonna like make a difference or really move the needle. So it's Kostin with the Daily Google News, and I'm so excited. Um, this is one of the first times actually we've ever had a client on the channel. I think it's happened once or twice before, uh, but I've got Ellie Gurok, who's the founder and CEO of Magic Beans. Ellie, thanks for being here, appreciate you. I'm actually really excited. I'm a huge fan besides being a client. Yeah. Well, you're one of the clients that terrifies me because you know more about Google ads than I do. And so every now and then they come, they sneak through the cracks and I'm just like, oh goodness, I have to, my imposter syndrome starts to wave a flag. Um, but I just mean that you're, you're a super sophisticated entrepreneur, but you actually know a lot about like the inner workings of, I mean, as evidenced by the fact that we're about to talk about, you know, the Shopify and YouTube integration, if you figured out something that I don't know anybody else has figured it out yet. Well, yeah, like on Wednesday, I got an email from Shopify that good news. Now it's uh, YouTube is connected to Shopify and we have a, um, a fairly sizable YouTube following. Uh, we have over 26 million views on YouTube. I review and compare strollers and car seats. I have a, my website is mbeans.com and we sell baby products. It's great. So um, you're not so just online, like, right? You're brick and mortar too in Boston. Yeah, yeah. We have two brick and mortar stores here in Boston. So um, yeah, it, it's really cool. And YouTube has been sort of transformative for our business because I have spent so many years in store teaching consumers one-on-one -on -one about how to buy the best stroller and car seat and things like that. I'm a father of three, so I have a lot of expertise around this stuff. And I, and YouTube really gave me a platform to like share my expertise with the world. It's really great. But so I get this email on Wednesday morning, surprise, you can now integrate Shopify and YouTube together and put links underneath your video. So I'm like, that sounds really, really cool, but how do I do that? And there's like very, very little information about how to practically set that up and do that. So I spent a whole bunch of time at the end of last week, setting it all up, excited about it. And then <laughs> and I told I you- in like a vulture and I was like, can you teach my people how to do that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm so, excited, man. So uh, the value proposition is super clear. You have a YouTube channel. Uh, and this is organic traffic play. Uh, I wonder though, and uh, even if it's not available or accessible just yet, I wonder whether or not Google's gonna give us the ability to um, to get a little bit more aggressive with the push from a paid perspective. And and maybe that's a an add-on conversation, but at the moment, your YouTube channel allows you to take your GMC, push all your products in through the YouTube channel so they're vis vis visually accessible. Would you mind showing us what, what you've got, what you're looking at? Um. Do what I mind show up. Yeah. Oh, I, I, can I, I, well, I guess what I'm asking is, can we pull up the, the YouTube channel and see the, the product sure. that's been in play? Sure. All right. I'm going to share my screen here. Drum roll. All right. So I'm on uh, the Magic Beans YouTube video. 65,000 subscribers. Dude, that's, I forgot you had that many subscribers. That's amazing. Good for you. You're like, I'm really excited. About I'm kind of proud of that. I have to, I have to admit. <laughs> that's huge. You're, you're YouTube famous. All right. So I can go to any video and in theory, it's going to push products through in the field. Exactly. So choose that Silver Cross Reef. Sounds good. Then just scroll down a little bit. Yep. And there you go. Look at that. Silver Cross Reef, Nuna Rava, Abaviza. So those are products that I curated to go underneath the, that, that video. Now, if you go back to the very beginning, you'll see the very first product is um, the if you scroll to the left is the Silver Cross Reef. So I was able to curate that under the Silver Cross Reef review, first product show Silver Cross Reef stroller. And then the Up of Baby Vista, which is two over, I, I probably need to do a better job curating this particular one. But basically the next three products are my sort of like default catalog of, pro of products that are gonna be under um, any video on the channel. So the cool thing is that I don't have to go into every video and 
um, put a carousel of products. Basically, there's default 30 products go under every video. But if I want to, I can go into the in individual videos and there's a monetization tab um, in um, YouTube Studio that you can click on and then you can sort of, I can curate any product from my entire catalog to go underneath um, a video so that people can shop as while they're watching because they hopefully like me and my, what I'm teaching them and they will reward me by shopping with me versus Amazon, Dude, this which is would be great. So cool. So on a per video basis, you can choose which products are being shown, but then you can have a default catalog too, and then just front load the most applicable product, but then modify and then allow the default catalog to kind of follow along as a, as a trail. Correct. Right. So my, you know, so I will, and what I would do is, and I mean, I think this was, I don't know. I think this is probably designed for um, for YouTube, YouTube creators who have merch, right? Mm -hmm. Like a bunch of t-shirts, you know, for their channel. But I think that for retailers like me that have like a 10,000 products in their catalog, I think this is like an extremely powerful um, way of selling. The other thing that the, you can do with this, and I think this is what they want to get at, is live social selling. Now, I haven't really tried that yet on YouTube. I've tried it a little bit. Um, but my hope is that over the next couple, so what happens is you can go you know, live on, on YouTube, obviously, and then you can choose which products to feature in that YouTube live. So I think what they want us to start doing is basically create my own individual little QVC type show where I talk about products and then I sell the products during the, like during the event. And so my hope is in September to my first sort of like live selling event hopefully have some sort of offer that I can offer the consumer. So if you watch like QVC, I'll leave a limited number. I have 10 of these strollers available that I'm showing you right now. Buy them now, click the link right below. Direct goes straight to my Shopify store, boom, buy. And hopefully that works. So I think that would be a really cool thing. I know that all of the different social platforms, TikTok and Instagram, they all want this sort of like live selling situation happening. Yeah, TikTok has done a really good job at niching down into product specific videos with a strong CTA. It's so heavily commercial. And what's interesting is it didn't it didn't feel like it compromised the value of the network at all because they just kind of came out and said, you know, this is this is effectively what we're doing. I love your idea of the the QVC model though. And then just to real quick, I I, I didn't do a good job at kind of uh, illustrating this for anybody who's watching, but when somebody clicks on a product, uh it opens up in a new tab, which it makes a lot of sense because YouTube doesn't want to lose the traffic. And then in the new tab, it looks like Google is pushing. It's pushing tracking, but it's not pushing your tracking. So you weren't able to add any level of tracking or UTM or any of that stuff, right? You can't. I mean, I, I, like I said, I, this is like fresh and new, um, but we looked at this on Monday to see, because I, I put, I set this up over the weekend, looked at it on Monday. There was no evidence that maybe no one's clicked on these these links yet, but I there's no way in analytics for me to see that a customer came from YouTube, oh, popped up that window, and that is that this was effective. So I literally have no way of knowing whether I'm going to make any money from this at all. Um, but it's it's cool, right, Google? It's cool. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, that's, Shopify. Google loves <laughs> to push out stuff that's just so half baked, uh, but then they fix it. They, and, and it actually kind of makes sense. I almost appreciate that more than the, oh, this has to be 100% perfect. We stroll it out and then nobody likes it. Um, so we become part of the R&D process. But uh, I didn't know this was a thing. I wonder, is this restricted to Shopify store only? Or is Shopify just the one that made the, the big mass integration? And so it's easier to push in through Shopify because I've never seen this before. This is a partnership with Shopify and Google. I think there were some sort of like precursor apps that were doing this type of thing, like in a beta um, situation. But this is um, the very little information I see online about this. This is like a both Shopify and Google are very excited about this partnership. I mean, it makes sense. There are so many Shopify stores out there, and creators are going to like make a shop. It's it's it makes a lot of sense and. Um, I, I, again, I think it's, it's pretty easy to sort of curate that stuff. I, you know, it's not great that it limits me to 30 products and that default catalog. And, but like you said, it is a, you could say half fake, you could say it's a newer product from Google. So, um, as, uh, creators continue to start using this, hopefully they will be add add better tracking, add like better features to make sure that this is, um, 
that this is effective and that we can sort of really drive extra sales. I, but I think it's it's pretty neat. You know, otherwise there are the the different cards that they you know they have in the in the videos that you put in there. To so you have to like leave the video, click a card, go to the site, or put links below. But this is just like a very visual way mm. for um, for me to like for people to see that hey, oh, I can buy this, and also to connect the fact for people like me that not only am I a YouTube creator, but I'm also a retailer to really make that connection that, oh, there is his website. Like right. he also has places to buy the stuff that he's talking about. Well, and the prioritization of the real estate is pretty substantial. You know, I mean, I can, it, it almost looks like YouTube's recommended videos. Um, so it, it draws your eye really well. Uh, that's the other thing that, you know, I'm a paid traffic guy saying this. And so hopefully nobody, I don't, I don't believe in long-term heavily heavy reliance on paid traffic i think that it should always be a part of the marketing mix obviously but it shouldn't be the core because on a long enough timeline it will fail like on a long, on a long enough timeline your paid traffic is you're either going to have peaks and valleys lull big competitor steps into the space hemorrhages money you know what i mean like something will go wrong and so and again it, it's counter to my best interest to say that to, to people but what you've done is brilliant like you built this amazing audience, 65,000 subscribers. How many millions of views did you say? 26 million. Dude, that is so, I wonder what, Madison Square Garden seats, I think 30,000 people, right? I'm just doing my napkin math. So you, you played 867 Madison Square Gardens. You know what I mean? Like that's, I'm just trying to put it into like, we, we forget the scale of any of digital reach that is so amazing for you, for your business, for your impact. Um, but then you have one little teeny tiny widget that, that you know, Shopify and YouTube cooperate on. And then all of a sudden you start to see like, oh, wow, this is why this is so impactful. Um, I just think this is super cool. So if you're watching this, like take a note from Ellie, you shouldn't always pay for your traffic coming from the paid traffic guy, build a community. And the way to build a community, by the way, is to give, is to serve. And that's what you do with your videos. Like these reviews, these product reviews, I've watched them, not all of them. Uh, but I watched enough of them. Like you really dive deep. You know, I, I like to think about Dwight Schrute in the office when he takes the car seat and he straps it to the back of the car. I mean, you're not going that far, but like you, you provided an immense amount of value and it's why you've been able to basically establish yourself as, as the authority. Is there anybody else in the space that's even close to you? No, no, not, not, not close to me. I mean, I think that um, I'm like very, very much of like obsessed with what I do. I love yeah. helping customers figure out baby gear. And, you know, I've been doing it this so long, you know, you know, being on the sales floor of my store for so many years and just to be able to, and I, and the reality is our industry, I grew up, my business grew up with this sort of modern baby, the Dwight products, you know, like this is, I've been around for all this stuff. So um, it's just, it's just really cool to be able to share this with like so many people from around the world. Um, and also I just want to say that um, Solutions Aid does run um, YouTube ads for us, and it has driven, uh, like, it's just really been able to amplify the stuff that I'm doing organically. So it really is, again, if I didn't do all that work organically, if I didn't build right. the hundreds of videos that I did, it would, be, it would really be for nothing. Like, you can't, I, again, I don't really understand, like, I can understand this for, like, as a direct response moment through YouTube, but I think that for us, that's why, I, like, I love YouTube advertising so much is because... For me, it's the way I'm thinking about it is, you know, people are coming into my ecosystem for YouTube, you know, because they saw an ad, which, you know, we take one of our videos using it as an ad, they come in and then they see, oh my gosh, this guy really knows his stuff. And they're right. watching all of my videos and it just like really just helps just grow the channel as well. So it's a really good combination of sort of paid and organic together. This is not a glitch. I'm interrupting the video you're watching because I need to remind you that I'm always looking for people to join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you want to work with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. Speaking of working with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, if you're having trouble with Google Ads and you want professional help, that's what we do. You can go to solate.com, that's S-O-L-8.com to apply for your free, no obligation action plan. And if I've given you any level of value at all, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. That's how we juice the YouTube algorithm rhythm so they actually know that I know what I'm talking about. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or confessions, hit me below in the comments. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Dude, I've had the exact same experience because, you know, if we figure something out on Google, we put it on YouTube and 
if we make a mistake, we put it on YouTube. And, and, and there's something about like the authenticity there to where I think it really, it really resonates with people. When did you start your YouTube channel? How long ago? Oh, uh, 10 years ago, 10 years ago. And my kids make fun of me. Dude, no way. You're like an OG. I didn't know it was 10 years old. Yeah, so I did a Bugaboo snack tray. Bugaboo is a thriller brand. I did a, a little video of a snack tray. And sometimes I like walking down my kitchen. I'll hear my two older kids like laughing. I'm like, hey, kids, why are you laughing? Oh, we're watching your Bugaboo snack tray video. You're like so terrible in that first <laughs> video. Your kids are heckling you. That's awesome. Yeah, they totally heckle me. They also think that their dad is a YouTuber. So that's pretty cool. So that is pretty cool. All right. I'm looking at your channel right now. Oh, I see the Bugaboo. I see it. I see the original video. So I'm going to go back and watch when in the journey. This is the one um not turning the seat it is no i'm sorry the, those are like uh not real ones actually that, okay. it, there it, here go there it is where does one that i do i'm sorry i'm sorry That's right. I, I, this is like you'll see it's like scroll down scroll down scroll down oh there it is there it's the top of the top stop 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 27 000 views up there 10 years ago oh, see that little exactly. that's it yeah that's the my right. first review i'm gonna go i'm gonna go watch this uh i'm just curious so when did your when did your channel start to take off at what point was it like oh my goodness i mean twenty seven thousand views that's taken off yeah so what happened was i think it was 2015 or 2016 i was in one of my stores and i decided to do the best the best strollers like i didn't know how to name anything i didn't know what i was doing i basically gave one of my store employees a phone and i said hey i'm going to talk about the top five strollers that i like and I did the best strollers of 2015, and that just started taking off. Oh, the other thing is I did this trade show video about this product called the Duna, D-O-O-N-A, and it was so cool. Um, you know, I did this video, and then I just watched, like, it got, like, 500 views, and I got super, super excited. And I was also keenly aware around the time when, again, I don't exactly remember where, um, when YouTube, oh, and uh, Google bought YouTube, but... It was right around the time where I was just being kind of like a, like an SEO person, like a, yeah. like I was just, I thought it was really cool right after like Google about YouTube, like, oh my gosh, I'm not ranking for any of these products. I'm late to the game in terms of like SEO stuff. But if I make a video about a product, it's like just, just what Shopify is doing right now, they like, they put the stuff on the top right now. They're putting right. like, right. They put those, the, we just bought YouTube, all the videos on the very, very top of the search engine results page. So. I'm like, oh, cool. If I do a review on this product, let me see if I'm, I'll be on the top of Google. And there it was. And then I thought, let me do another one. And I just thought it was like, just fun to have my videos like leapfrog over everything else on the page. And then over time, I have this like very immense catalog of videos that people then, that it sort of took on a life of its own. That's so cool. What an immense amount of foresight on your, on your part too. What's so if you don't mind me asking, if you don't want to let the cat out of the bag, that's okay. What's next? Like, I mean, you seem to be a guy that kind of really sees the lanes. Where do you think, where are you investing in other traffic channels, other acquisition opportunities? What other networks do you think have a, a strong future? Um, that is a really good question. Um, I think that I, I would love to see this like live selling thing be a thing yeah. uh, on youtube or any other channel um but you know i think for me one of my problems is or like i think many entrepreneurs have this problem is like distraction right so like how many yeah. like how many like you talk about tiktok and of course like and I'm, we're on tiktok and i do some couple of things on tiktok and I've, we've had some good um so some good like organic results on tiktok like i do some like funny things um that still that still offers value but um, I am just doubling and tripling down on, on YouTube. Like I could custom, I could be a lot better. I should be at like, really, I should have 200,000. I should have 200 million views is reality. Like you got to just keep on, um, keep on optimizing, keep on doing things that are, are going to like add value. But I think that part of the problem for like my business is that every day someone's becoming pregnant. And every day someone is learning about a stroller for the very, very first time. So right. I always need to go back to the fundamentals and like, hey, this is a stroller. Let me teach you all about it. That like, I can't leave that. So I'm like on a um, constantly revolving um, wheel to sort of like teach people about this baby gear stuff. So again, I think that um, what I'm also feeling anecdotally, I'm not sure if you feel this too, is that 
the idea that people researching stuff that they need on YouTube is just getting like super, super strong, like stronger than ever. It's Isn't like, that kind of weird? Because I've been doing it for two or three years, but it's weird right. to see like other people catching up and, and me realizing like, oh, this is actually new to most of the world. Exactly. So I think that yeah, two, three years ago, you and I, like other people were like going to YouTube for things or like, oh, how do I change a tire? Go to YouTube. And I like, I learned how to do this. But in terms of like really doing their research and having like more sophisticated content to teach people about the things that they want to learn about or want to shop for. I mean, people are like tired of, you know, the amount. Have you looked at a Google research pay, uh, results page recently, Kassam? It is like bananas, all of the different things. Train wreck. It is a, it is a complete yeah. train wreck. Like Travesty. all the different, right? Like how am I supposed to learn anything yeah. from a Google research, results well, page? Well, so much of it is to... stolen clicks, you know, like Google's pulling in other people's content and then it ends up being a little less interesting it dilutes the relevance and then they have their you know there's the accordion and the slider and the you're right it's like it's so complex and i don't know that i ever said those words out loud until you just solicited that from me that actually scares me a little bit it's like man did google lose their way and then I mean, here's that's, youtube that, that, that's something they do it right and then youtube it's like yeah. it's so simple because you just put in what you're looking for and they're pretty good at their algorithm and tell and serving you the things that you need and right. I, i've I, i've been home for the past couple of days for any number of reasons and watching a lot of youtube and they do a really good job at just keep serving you the things that you're kind of interested in and like i mean that just like serves us when we do our our video so i'm to answer your initial question like i'm still like super super bullish on youtube and they're going to continue to create i'm like i'm creating more videos than ever but in two I've, I've created more videos this year in 2022 than i have end of any year so far let me ask you a question there because you're really good at it like you're you're as a as a as a i don't want to call it a character because i don't know if you feel like you're playing a character but there's something about your persona that that plays well on youtube well, if somebody's not like somebody's watching this and like hey this you know the camera scares me i'm not photogenic i'm not whatever like is that, can that be learned? Should you fight the grain or should you find somebody who is? What's your advice? Um, I think that it really depends on where the expertise lies because if you are, like I, I watch YouTube videos and the people are like, have no charisma whatsoever. But I find the stuff like super, super interesting because they are like yeah. extreme experts at what they do. So um, uh, the first thing I would say is that if you watch my Bugaboo snack tray video from 2000 and 12 you'll see that it did not start off all razzle dazzle so like razzle dazzle by the way <laughs> razzle dazzle sort of gets developed over time and you learn and um i think that if you have any like charisma at all or any at all like i think you sh and you and you, then you also have the expertise to go with it then you should you should really give it a shot and um have good sound have good lighting all those real fundamentals like don't mess around with that stuff but i think that um you can do it but i know i've heard you say this um when with this channel is the problem is you you're starting from like way behind like mm -hmm. there are other competitors in my space who who are trying to like do what we do but we are like so 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 far ahead yeah. Um, you got your 10,000 hours in, you know, like you're, you're the authority. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And you, and YouTube knows that and people know that our videos, you know, and I've heard this from like hundreds of customers over the years, they get sucked into our vortex of videos and they just like keep watching the videos and there's, I finished my car seats. Let's go into strollers. Let's go into baby cares. Let's go into all the other things. So I think you need to have that, you know, vast catalog of, of videos and you have to sort of like really really commit to it and I, that's probably true with like anything but like you really have to commit to doing i don't know if you have to do ten thousand hours but you need to do a serious catalog of work in order for it to sort of take off and yeah like, we i don't know 100 know. videos for us it, it and this was actually my mentor is a guy named uzair he's got a youtube channel also on google ads if you're watching you should go follow uzair he's brilliant and he goes you have to do a video every day for 90 days and it, and it was weird because as soon as I did that, all of a sudden, you know, we're getting like four views, 12 views, 15 views. And then all of a sudden it was like 300 views. And I think as soon as, and that's about a hundred videos. As soon as we had about a hundred videos, YouTube was like, okay, we trust you. There's a, there's a cache, there's a repository of content. And now people are going to, you know, dive down the rabbit holes. So it's exactly what you're saying. That's been my experience too. Yeah. But you're also like really good at what you do. And like you have things, you have things to say.
Yeah. And I think that there are people who um, are, are, are actually are like real imposters that they don't. <laughs> I play an imposter. They, I'm I, an I imposter play, like, an imposter. They, <laughs> okay, exactly. Okay, so that's, that's if we got meta with it, <laughs> that's awesome. This is so cool. Ellie, you're such a generous thought leader, man. Thank you for sharing. I don't know that a lot of people share all the secret sauce, but the fact that you did makes me super grateful. Love the product inclusion on in the videos. I'm definitely going to start recommending that to everybody with the YouTube channel. And more than that, I'm going to recommend that everybody goes and builds a community. Like go have a wealth from which you can draw even when, you know, if paid is down, you have somewhere else to, you have somewhere else to travel. Um, I, I bulldoze conversations as a bad habit. So I'll, I'll say last words to you. Anything else that you want to say or offer to our, our watchers, listeners? Um, yeah, I think that, um, you know, read, you know, I think that um, this was a new uh, product that sort of Shopify released and I got an email and, you know, not everything is going to, pan out like I again I don't think this these YouTube link these little Shopify links are gonna like make me a gajillion dollars but I think that it's important to try to innovate try to do new things if it doesn't take you too much time if it doesn't cost you too much money like you never know what is going to be the thing that's going to like make a difference or really move the needle so I guess my recommendation is to like try lots of things and you know and over time you know, you'll, it may like help you be like more successful. Yeah. You start to crack the code. Kaizen. That's awesome. Um, you got to go to mbeans.com to check out Ellie. If you're in Boston, go check out two of the brick and mortar stores. Uh, I'll make sure to include links to the website, the YouTube channel uh, in the description of this video. Ellie, super grateful to you, man. Uh, thank you for being here. Thanks, Kasim. This was fun. Awesome. And uh, we shoot a video every day. Like, comment, subscribe. You know how YouTube works. I'll see you next time. Welcome to your day with Google News. Um, I'm super excited to have Chase Clymer here with Electric Guy. Chase, appreciate you uh, jumping on the show with us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to dive in here. Yeah. So you're an uh, uh, e-commerce guru, uh, 